Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Kolkata and Lucknow, one of the super important games going into the knockouts. Before that, you ensure that you make 25 teams and join that fan to play leaderboard. Currently, we are ranking pretty well. So yes, we should take full advantage of that. Many of the FCP users in that, in that top 100. So ensure that you make 25 teams and win lots of prizes. A really special guest with us today, Crick Crazy Nicks. Like you all know him, Nikhil, predicting all the best kind of moments for you on Twitter. How are you doing? How are the games going? I wish there was a fantasy for making live calls better because I seem to be getting better at that <laughs> while captains continue to experiment like scientists uh, during the games. I, ca I cannot agree more. Currently, there is every every trend and every matchup has been thrown out of the window in the last few games. So I think this will be will get only more interesting to discuss. Yeah. Yes, for sure. So anyway, let's look at the team then for today. Yeah. So who are you looking at uh, starting with the keepers? Because we are seeing that the openers don't seem to have high reliability in the last few games. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think still it will be very. Uh, very very brave something that you, you anyways do it but uh, yeah. dropping uh, openers might be too mm. tricky uh, again it will not always happen but it has been mm. happening i expect one of them to come good so in the safe team you'll we'll probably take both uh, rahul and quinton uh, but yeah in grand leagues you'll probably drop rahul in the chase uh, because he's not looked at his best and he's not attacking much so and he's getting mm. out on his first attempted such shot so uh, even if you score the 25-30, it will not cost you a lot. But again, mm. you have to be very sure that the total that KKR put up will be big. Because only then he'll want to take the risk. So, uh, of course, back in the visualization, safe team will have both. Probably in Grand Leagues, you can try dropping one of them. Right. And how do you see the matchup panning out for Narayan versus Dekok and Rahul? Because he pretty much has the wood, especially over Dekok. Strike rate is below 100 and dismissed twice. And similarly with Rahul, he's been dismissed multiple times, but he's striking better. So, how do you see that going for them? I'm hoping for a change. Uh, KL Rahul starts uh, ag aggressively because that's the hmm. only way to put the pressure on the bowling side. Right now, they all know that Quinton is going to take be the aggressor and Rahul is going to hmm. win. So, they're all attacking Quinton even more. And they're hmm. trying to get Rahul on the defence. Which is, I don't, it's just a very open plan to exploit. So, I hope a change of plan, not a change of plan, but it is a change of strategy for a game or two. See how it works out that uh, Quinton takes on his matchups, uh, he just plays off Naren and Rahul goes after mm. Naren early and just sets the tone, throws the cat among the pigeons that, okay, now I'm started aggressively. Then it makes the bowlers think, the team has to think out of the box. There are any which way is thinking out of the box, let them go even more crazy. <laughs> right. Okay, so I think we have our two keepers then. Then in the batsman, I think the choices are a little more obvious with Ayer and Hoda. And uh, looking at the way the batsmen have been playing, do you want to pick a third batsman? Very, very tough to pick a third one, especially because the numbers that these batters are coming in, they are not very very reliable. Last time, Badoni mm. came at three. Uh, Stonis is just being asked to do the dirty job day in, day out. You can't expect mm. him to always pull it off. He's also bowling a few overs. So, if you feel that the wicket is tacky like it was yesterday and uh, Seamus could get something like a... Sonis is somebody, I will not say like Shardu, but he can exploit mm. those cutters well. So, if we feel that uh, there will be some grip for the cutters bowlers, then you can take Sonis if he's bowling first. Uh, then, right. uh, you know, his role, he'll, he could probably bowl two overs as well. Because they're not using mm. Holder. Last game, they didn't use Avesh Khan as well. So, they are looking for options. And then if such mm. bowlers like Livingston did yesterday, if they take wicket in the first over, they'll get more than two more overs. More. Yeah. So then, mm. th and it's an option for me, Grand Leagues. Same fleet may up, I think L2 will be enough. Two will be enough. Okay, interesting. I'm going to divert a little bit here. But like you said, if they take a wicket in the first over, they get more overs. But in the yeah. on the other hand, Holder took a wicket in his first over off the opposing captain, gave only 12 runs and yet didn't bowl another two set of overs. So, do you That's, see that That again? is normal logic, na? That is normal <laughs> logic. They are not going by normal logic. The normal logic doesn't apply to key bowlers. It applies to okay, non Only to part-timers. Okay. Only to part-timers. <laughs> okay. So, I think we'll go with two batters then. Yeah. 
then i think all rounders russell and narayan look very safe because they are in fact getting to do more than we expect them to do in terms of bowling and batting so they become good choices and yes. uh, do you want to pick holder or uh, does the last match give you a hesitation in doing that probably while bowling first i'll still pick him mm. uh, because i do feel his game is not too far when where he will take uh, three four wickets because he's somebody who can use these conditions very well mm. uh, you know the pitches are slowing down he loves to bowl into the deck and he can get any one bounce as well so probably bowling first i'll be more tempted to pick him because he's not bowling enough overs probably mm. in the second innings you can not take him and probably take somebody like a mohsin khan uh, because wickets are falling in the power play holder is not okay. bowling in the power play so then it becomes mm. a very difficult thing for holder also to take wickets in the middle overs because most teams are going to uh, try and reset their innings because they're losing wickets up top so then it mm. does doesn't make much sense to pick holder in that sense but yeah if you feel he'll bowl up top while bowling first when batters are trying to still go hard then you can definitely pick holder in the first innings okay makes sense so then we go with three all rounders and finally the bowlers so again i think avesh is a good choice along with saudi because you mentioned the cutters are working and bowling into the pitch is also yeah. working how many overs they bowl is only a matter of yeah. uh, i don't know it's a kkr game and i'm discussing lsg more so that should tell you the story of the season yes. right now yes for it but, it is uh, just the those, patterns that yeah. teams kkr is influencing the ipl now. In, in, True. In I think battles. we have mul- we have multiple KKRs this time in terms of strategies, but uh, yeah. I think those are our two fixed bowlers in Saudi and Avesh. Yeah. Apart from that, uh, do you see? Because I see, I feel like Bishnoi and Chakravarti, along with bowling their full quota, are also bowling at crucial times. So, do you feel like both of them can make your team, or would you go with one and then go with an extra pacer? See, if it's if it is a slower deck, I'll be very tempted to take both. Uh, mm. Varun and Bishnoi, that is. And as I said, if it's bowling second and not picking holder, then I'll go with Mohsin as well. So it will be mm. uh, Varun, Saudi, Mohsin, Bishnoi, and Avish. Three bowlers from Lucknow because they're bowling first. Two from KKR mm. bowling second. You all, you will anyway see Rasul and Naren bowling. So you right. you already have the KKR four sixteen overs almost mm. covered. And here, if mm. you have three or four, you have more or less twelve for twelve to sixteen overs covered as well. So a lot will depend on the pitch, and Divya Patel has offered some help uh, to mm. spinners as well. So uh, I'll not rule it out more so because Vishnu is bowling at the death now. So mm. uh, you never know who, who gets the luxury of bowling at twentieth and ends up picking two three. True, and I think uh, KKR has a lot of lot of batsmen who either you can say it recklessly or play very freely in the form of Rana, <laughs> yeah. Russell, Narayan. So. Whoever is going to bowl in that phase can just get a pile of wickets if the if it does not click for the batter on the day. Yeah, and also the one great thing about trying to uh, imagine KKR is they have lost a lot of wickets to pace. So hmm. the the another line of thought is you don't take Vishnoi. Pack your hmm. team with all pacers because that's what Lucknow did last time as well. Then hmm. really you go really hard with. a uh, good pace bowling back of length go shot into the body of the batters and then take wickets like that so you have to be very sure i think sir the match was in pune uh, you got a mm. lot more bounce there as well so uh, uh, again it could work in diva patel as well but something kk will also have in mind that the last time these two sides played they used a lot of fast bowling so right. uh, at the end it's about uh, praying that what we think happens mm. and then going with that <laughs> makes sense So in this scenario with so many uncertainties who do you see as captain and vice captain in the team then I'll again most probably be going with all rounders only that is uh, mm-hmm. Russell for sure as my captain and uh, if I'm strong on Rahul then probably Rahul as my vice captain or whoever bowls first if Kolkata is bowling first I'll go with Narayan uh, or you can probably go with a, a very left field choice in say and umesh adav if he comes back and mm. plays in bowl, if he's bowling first so it has to be very calculative and if it's the other way around then definitely you have avish khan as a very mm. good option while bowling first and of course jason holder forever remains a permanent mini grand league captain whenever he plays right right 
so i think that covers majority of what we wanted from this section there is one yeah. key apprehension that people will have is if rahane rahane is ruled out of the tournament he is not going to play do you see yeah. billings opening and then also giving you value with the keeping that he is going to do anyway yes for sure it could be a, it could be a very interesting option as well because billings can also tackle the short ball well uh, yeah. he's is is decent there and he can also play spin well so it's not that uh, you can tie him down with a certain kind of bowling so yeah. he'll play a vital role what i'm also very interested to see is they change the batting order far too often so mm. i will not be very sure if they actually go with sam billings they could even bring somebody random and then uh, say that okay you open today because uh, that's the fun maybe narain opens who knows who knows ba- who knows bas takes the gloves off <laughs> yeah just the one game that uh, he wants to game. play out of. with yeah. kkr you can never, you can never rule it out totally <laughs> Okay, so I think we have the dream team. Apart from that, who are your challenge picks then for this game? Uh, I think Russell and Narain definitely uh, are a part of it. Hmm. Then, as we discussed, it could be either of the two guys. That is Avesh, or uh, if you want to go Varun or Holder, uh, hmm. depending on the conditions. There's also Umesh. So most likely, it will be. Russell Narain and Avesh hmm. uh, because Avesh takes wickets in both first and second innings he's a good enough bowler to do that and he's getting three overs so <laughs> i'm trying to take people who are assured of having some role in the game for sure right. i think one uh, one input that i would have here is that uh, we see many times narain bowl so well but he does not he does not really yeah. get as many wickets as we expect him to so if yeah. everybody wants to go with a safe choice in place of narayan maybe rahul makes the cut for you in that scenario but if you're ready to take a extract a chance then you can go with narayan because i'll surely be doing that too <laughs> yes <laughs> so i think we have it all apart from that any gl inputs from you for you from this game because i know i practically currently every preview for us has become like a gl preview itself but any additional yeah. thoughts or any closing comments Uh, I'll say be happy to take risks because teams are taking them as well. Uh, so the investment mm. has to be in such a way that you don't invest too much in small leagues. It's not worth it. You are you should not be suffering for teams' experiments. So, uh, but try it in mini grand leagues because the return could be massive for you for a very little amount of investment. And I'm sure mm. you're already part of his group, so you know more more than enough about how rewarding that <laughs> strategy is. So uh, again, it's just a fair strategy to go. and uh, hmm. you could have surprises as well maybe k gautam comes in there are a lot of left handers in kolkata and we know they play right. very freely so if they are pampered by pace spin comes on they want to take him on they could give up a lot of wickets to him uh, they could even give wickets to kunal pandya because matchups are anyways overrated for luck so uh, you never know what will happen hmm. in the games for now but uh, invest very smartly is what i'll say uh, don't invest too much there are better games better series is coming so play for grand league but uh, i'll say just be very careful with your small league investments and play for the leaderboard too because you can yes, clearly rank is... in there with multiple scenarios yeah. yes great then thank you thank you so much nikhil for all your inputs and help and everybody you like he's mentioned through a small advert which he did not realize but i'm surely going to plug this on twitter please join the telegram group and you'll get all your final teams and updates there all the good luck to you Happy winning, guys. Have a good one.